What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glassy Gamer, and I'm coming at you with an episode of Ark Survival Evolved Primitive Plus. Woohoo! In today's episode, we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to give you some updates on the building, plus I'm going to show you how to make leather, which leads us to other Primitive Plus things, along with how to use the apiary. So let's get started here. All right, so an apiary is essentially a beehive. And the way this works is, whoop, got some wax, got some honey. The way this works is you need a queen bee and you need a drone. And then a drones will then make a worker bee. And a worker bee will then get you the honey and the beeswax. So the easiest way to get that is to do this. I'll show you. See, so you just hop on a dino. Uh, a trike, a bronto, whatever whatever your dino choice is that can harvest uh, berries and, and such. And you're just going to keep going until you get yourself uh, a bee. So, we will be right back. And we're back. So, we went out with our trike and got ourselves some bees. So where's those bees? There's a drone. Oh, look, I got a couple queen bees. So, there we go. So... All you do is you just take your bees, you take your queen bee, your drone bee, and drop them right in there. And then uh, over a period of time, it does take quite a while, you will get yourself some honey and some beeswax. And these are definitely used in a lot of recipes for uh, Primitive Plus. So I'll just give an example of one of those. But first, I'm going to show you how to make leather. So it may sound kind of silly, you know, hey, we've got tons of leather. No, 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 you got hide, and this makes leather. So what you need to do is build yourself a tanning rack. After you built yourself a tanning rack, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put hide in it along with some salt, and over time, that will eventually make leather. Uh, it does take quite a while. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to make salt. So, to make salt, you take a crystal. Do I have any crystals? Seriously? Let's see. Do I have a crystal here? Perfect. I got a crystal. A, cr a crystal is all I need. So, I am going to go ahead and put a crystal here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make some salt. Now, this is just a hand mill. This is a standard thing you can build right on pretty early in. And one crystal will get you 15 salt. So there we go. Now I'm going to go, let me just, uh, I'll just put the crystal here for now. So now we're going to go ahead and put the salt in, over here. Yes, well you guessed it, into the tanning rack. And then over time you get yourself some leather. And this will give us the ability to make some nice bows. And check this out. This is how you make the canteen in Primitive Plus. Now, normally you would need to have a fabricator for this. So we just need beeswax, feathers, leather, clay, and oop, let me show you how to get some feathers. Feathers are actually not too bad. You just find your local everyday uh, dodo bird. Can, can I get a dodo bird here? Dodo bird anywhere? Uh, let me, no, I'm not going to write a dialogue. Let me hop on my raptor here. Adobe. And let's go kill a freaking dodo, dodo, stupid dodo. And there we go. That's how you get feathers. As easy as that. So let's go back here. It whoop. And take the feathers. Take the hide. I'll take the chicken too. Chicken. And we will go ahead up to our workbench. This is our construction table. This is the standard construction table you get for Primitive Plus. This is your smithy, so two different things. Use the construction table, go to miscellaneous, and craft yourself a canteen. There we go. So now we have ourselves a canteen. Isn't that nice? Now we can finally get rid of that stupid water skin. <laughs> ah, maybe I'll use it later. I'll use it for uh, eh, I'll use it for making dyes later. I haven't done dyes yet. I'm still kind of plain Jane here. So I had another question somebody had asked me. They wanted to know how to make dried lumber. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to make dried firewood. So let me grab some, I think I've got some somewhat on me, but I'll grab a few extras. Let's grab my handy dandy axe here. We're going to chop a couple trees down. Now the server I'm on is pretty close to vanilla. It's just a little bit enhanced. It's not, you know, nothing really crazy. So you'll see that the drop rates are not incredibly high, but I do have higher melee damage to compensate. So we're going to go inside and... Oh, no, we're going to go outside. What am I thinking? Classic. All right, so we're going to go to our lumber station. Now, the lumber station is this little doodad right here. Very easy to make, very early. You're just going to drop your wood in there, and I'll drop it all. And click, Ingram, fresh firewood. So let's make a bunch of firewood. Now, after you make the firewood, it's going to be fresh firewood. You then take, you can then either leave it there, or what I do is I take the fresh firewood, and I put it into these firewood holders, you know, near my forges, near where fireplaces are, where I'm going to use them. And then eventually this will turn into this. Now, it says it spoils. It's not really going to spoil, so don't worry. It's actually just going to take, it's going to turn itself from fresh to dry firewood. And dry firewood burns a long, long time, which is awesome. Let's check to see any spoiled meat. I mean, here's one of our uh, fridges. I'm going to have to get some, I'm going to do the upgraded fridge eventually. Let me just drop the meat in there and craft that up. There we go. So, as you can see, that's how you make that's how you make firewood. And that came from a question from one of our comments. Perfect. So, now I'm going to give you the little house tour. Now, you've, you've kind of gotten an idea how it looks. It's just to give you a, a rough overview. Now, I'm not finished yet. I'm still kind of doing a work in progress. I wanted to try an adobe structure. And I wanted to make it somewhat symmetrical and give it a little bit of detail, cut, make it look southwestish, you know, have it just not just a box, a box with stuff on it. So let's uh, let's go on up and we'll fly doing fly around doing an overview. Yeah. All right. Let me climb the ladder here. Oop. Close the hatch. So I made this, I'll start with this. Well, we're already here. I still have to close in the roof. This is going to be the uh, aviary, basically a place we're going to land all the flyers. Something cool. Got yourself a little balcony here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And I wanted to put tons of windows in let light. So here's the overview of how it looks. Let's fly around to the front first. All right. Uh, there, a little higher, a little higher. Come on, Lucky. All right, so as you can see, I put little balconies out. And I wanted to keep it, you know, not so boxy. I wanted to put some curves in it as best we can with arc. And uh, give it a little detail, a little bit of depth. So what do you guys think? You guys like a new structure? Adobe is incredibly strong. It's one of the reasons I went with it. I'll show you. And they did fix the foundations, which were really derpy on uh, what it was mod. But now they can actually, now they're actually a full thickness. Check this out. 40k health. Nice. Look at the walls. The walls have 35k. So that is amazing. Check how strong that is. Yeah, I'll fly a little bit further out so you can see. And we'll do a little uh, run by how it looks in the back. So the back, I wanted to be a little bit different. I just wanted to make it like an open, uh, just like a little open slot so you can fly right in and land your birds. Get your flyers in there. Park them up top. And then, uh, yeah, you have an entrance in the back and an entrance in the front. And there we have it. So that's the structure I've been working on so far. It's been taking a little while because I guess the levels are almost vanilla here. So anytime you do something like that, it just takes a little bit longer. And, you know, I hope you enjoy it. So let's check out our wood here. All right, so we've got 92 firewood. 
I'm going to go ahead and just drop it out of here. And like so. So, there's one thing I did find with Adobe that's kind of annoying and aggravating, and I'm sure you guys noticed this. Look how derpy that door fits. It's not exactly a tight fit or a nice seal. I tried everything. I tried moving this. I've tried moving that. So what I'm doing is I'm hoping for a patch that will fix this. And hopefully devs fix it, please. And the other thing is, if you want to exit out the door, check this out. You have to, you sort of have to duck. So that's another thing with Adobe. Now, I'd never experienced that with brick, so if you want to try a brick structure, let me know if they did it. If, if brick's never done that, so I'm sure that's fine now. But Adobe is still a work in progress. I mean, it looks amazing. I think it just adds another detail, another, uh, another aspect of the game. It just looks amazing. I love it. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up this episode right here. This has just been an update and a few how-tos because our viewers have been asking. So this is Glass of Game. Oh, my nose is sticking through the helmet. Ah, Pinocchio. So this is Glass of Game. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye-bye.